just continue supporting this murderer who just, you know, had his booty hole posted, was trying to kill his wife or his girlfriend with a hatchet, literally going insane, has worms eating his brain, murdered a man. Please continue to whip in, in Nene in support of him, please. Bro, do you remember what's the dude's name who did the uh the whip nene song? What's his name? Flo Eo or something? Scotty Eo? It's some Eo. Watch me whip, whip, watch me nene. Sal Salento. Salento. Sons, bro, he went insane. All I know is he made this song. It went super popular. He had a picture of his booty hole on Twitter. I know he, I think he killed his cousin. Like he's, he's gone insane. Went from Nickelodeon star to murderer. It's kind of sad, but it's kind of funny too. But yeah, this is sad. From the children's song and dance of a generation, mm. topping the charts, TV deals, to facing life in prison. Jesus. Silento, or Ricky Hawk, as his classmates knew the 16-year-old, oh, became he was 16 famous at the time? overnight, seemingly. Specifically after one song, Watch Me Whip and Nay Nay. Mm. The track is an infectious dance song that was created so people could enjoy some easy dance moves and have fun. People will be dancing and smiling all around the world for the next 30 years whenever my song gets played. In Maybe for the next like 30 days, bro. That song got old fast. People listened to it for a little bit and was like, oh, okay, this kind of cool. I'll dance to it. But then immediately afterwards, it was like, all right, bro, you playing that song still? And you just lose all your friends. You just lose every single friend you have. And you still playing that song. 2015, the track quickly became viral mm -hmm. and appeared on major listening platforms like iTunes, YouTube, Vine, and SoundCloud. Soon Damn, after, the an track reached number popular. three on the Billboard Hot 100 and stayed there for six weeks straight. Six weeks. The single for a while was topping iTunes in 15 countries and on the UK Shazam charts. What even makes in people fact, all, like Silent listen Hill to that song? got the plaque at a renowned LA Troubadour club as part of Capitol Records' third annual mm. Capitol Congress event. Moreover, you know, Silent Hill was nominated like, for the Choice R&B oh, Hip Hop yeah. Song category at the it's like Choice an annoying Awards, kind of song, and honest. he made a few appearances on different see this is probably when he started going insane once you see like this hair like he started straightening his hair he bl dyed it blonde he kind of looked dead in the face a little bit that's how you know he's starting to go crazy prince salento salento live man. tv shows like good morning america and live with kelly mm, it wasn't just the shows. dance moves that brought salento the fame and popularity though a lot of the thanks goes to the entertainment brand dance on and the music distribution company TuneCore, mm. which are responsible for the initial buzz around watch me before the song appeared on Dan Song's radar, on is crazy. it reached success. All right, okay, okay. I can justify it. Like, I used to, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I used to think the same exact way, but then I saw, it's gonna sound like, I guess, kind of cringy, but I saw Bruce buy his chain. I was like, all right, that's kind of hard. That's kind of tough. Cause it's really like a symbol of what you, where you came from. Cause he came from like streaming on his floor, staying with his mom, grinding, grinding, grinding for years, boosting himself up to where he could buy that chain that he bought like five times over. I get it. If you're using it as a sign as to like where you came from, you Okay, all right. See, that might be you, but that's not me. I'm not getting my chain snatched. Ain't nobody snatching my chain. That's, Instagram that's and Vine. That's not when Camille Moussard, who was head of video at TuneCore, spotted it and brought it to Dance On's attention. It was kind of like putting two ingredients together. One was the dance and the influencers of the dance network, and the other one was a song that everybody was eager to listen to, but they just didn't know about it yet. To create the hit, knowing the moves of the 21st century weren't enough, mm. Silento worked with Bolo to. No, that, okay, I'm not gonna lie. That was a little zesty. Knowing the moves of the 21st century weren't enough, Silento worked with Bolo, That's Bolo the producer, zesty, bro. He reached that was out to him zesty. on Instagram, and he spent a couple of weeks making his song. case to him, oh, man, really as the latter had some mind. reservations okay. about creating the song, but in the end, he agreed. For like two months, honest, he kept trying to tell him, far. hey, as long I as got the song, it's, it's going to be a hit record, and I thought it was the craziest idea. For a hit record, it has to be the perfect song, perfect beat, perfect timing, perfect everything. Plus, having he the dance come from, from Atlanta, which is a very young, dance-oriented city, there were a lot of groups dancing to it online, Joseph and it spawned so many videos hey, on, I agree. on these apps. Moreover, the song gave a push to other artists, such as Ao and Teo, to release their songs with a oh, similar I remember them. vibe. They made songs? Although none of them had the they were same dancers, potential yeah. to be the next viral craze. Watch Me was said oh, yeah, to have grown on people 
because of the power of online video platforms, specifically Jeez, bro, I've seen hashtag, hashtag these videos are so long. video. While still being in school and getting famous, Silento said in an interview, after Watch Me blew up, the kids who were always disrespectful to me in school began to show respect and say, what up, to me when yeah, yeah, I would see them in the bro, halls. I don't, I don't know. I got, in high school was a blessing. Like, I gotta like look them up. Since the music kept me focused on working on my craft as an artist, which is what makes me happy. It was a distraction to any negative energy that had come my way. And then continued about it. important lessons he made while being that famous among his peers. I learned that if you put in the work, believe in yourself, and ignore the noise. Bro, that's so sad. Look at him. This is like a sweet, innocent kid. And he went to Twitter and posted his butthole. Is there pressure to stop doing what you're doing and putting in the work? Respect, success, and happiness will come. I always kept that positive mindset and smile that everyone at school in the hall oh, yeah, of course still saying hair, hi to those who doubted me. Anybody who comes up no like reason for any hate out there. I want everyone to one song that goes happy. crazy after However, not having no traction, time, no motion whatsoever. Makes one song that goes crazy. Not to trust anyone. They always gonna fall Follow almost one hundred percent time. My life the best way I'd want to create for myself. Yeah. Need to keep going through those hurdles and do what you want to do. Same thing with the Reese's Puff Kid. I'm surprised Ice Spice like lasted, but she actually started making some really good songs after Bring a lot of good. It didn't seem to be all roses and sunshine for Silento, because he went through some struggles with mental health and even took a break from performing and composing to focus more on his mental well-being. I think it's also the problem is like he tried to go from watching Whip, Whip watching Nene, try to make some like hard music, like some trap music. Like you're never gonna shake the image of watching Whip watching Nene. And then like knowing that probably messes his head up bad. I like those a lot. It's a really good, really good song. 2017, the chain of legal issues catching. involving Silento started. The very first episode was when Silento would not leave the UAE or the United Arab Emirates due to a business dispute. The grounds of the dispute were that Silento did not show up for the two shows that he had to perform at El Ain in Abu Dhabi on the 18th of February. As the owner of event organizer Mackie Entertainment, Mackie Taj El Sir Abdul Halim said, He didn't show up. I just wanted to get my own money back. I don't want to ruin his reputation. Abdul Halim wanted to recover performance fees, travel, and Damn. marketing costs, which were estimated at 300,000 dirhams or $81,500. Yeah, they stabbed the system. Court ruling yeah. ordered Silent Oh, to bro, UK drill is like not only is it the same, the same terrible messaging as American drill, but it also just does not sound good. Like you can't have both. You can't have like L messaging and then also sound bad. You know, like pick a side. Pay the set make one of money. sound good. On the you know, 20th one of February, a travel ban was placed on Silento, and he was commanded to surrender his passport to the court until the money was paid off. Jeez. A representative of Silento in the Middle in East, Dubai? Jenna Kadum, stated different. that the allegations were in question, and in fact, the promoter himself was guilty of not living they, up to his <laughs> end of the Like, how do you be rapping with a British accent? <laughs> that don't even sound right. You're supposed to be, like, singing about tea and how much you love the queen. The deal. Silento did not cancel any shows at all. The rapper only learned of the travel ban against him on Wednesday. It was no comment from Jenna on whether Silento handed in his passport or not. Yeah. The U.S. Embassy in Abu Dhabi did not comment on the matter either. Silento became aware of the legal issues early Thursday when he finished his show in a Dubai nightclub. I can't even leave the UAE, but I'm still in the club. <laughs> still in the, in the club. late hours of Wednesday, Silento posted a oh, link to man. his Twitter page encouraging fans to donate to his fundraiser. Free Silento so that he could return to America again. Oh, After he didn't that, have no money in to pay back stuff. Two arrests followed each other. The first Ooh, one was thought. on August 28th when Silento was booked in Santa Ana for inflicting corporal injury on a spouse or a cohabitant in a domestic violence incident. He was mm. charged with a felony and posted bond, but was released on the same day. Domestic violence. After that, things got a bit weird because the internet, specifically Twitter, suggested that Silento's girlfriend allegedly leaked She's very pretty. private photos of Silento's behind. Oh, that's the bottle. Okay, so I thought I bro, I don't listen to Jamaican, Jamaican rap. I'm not gonna lie. It's like I don't be understand what he's saying. So it's like I don't even want to listen to it. It's almost the same thing as UK Drew. I thought he posted the pictures, but all so the girlfriend posted it. But maybe she posted on his account. But maybe he posted on his own account. But then he wanted to pretend like he. I see. I see right through it. But you paused on this man's dude. Man. He do look like taking a mean dump that many users found disturbing. Supposedly, after that incident, the very next day, Silento was wandering the streets wielding a hatchet, and he walked into a random home I would, I respect it, but I'm not the Homeowners lie. with their children were present. He puts my booty I got fined. I got fined. terrified. But one of the homeowners had a gun and was able to stop Silento. 
Luckily, nobody was harmed. In a few moments, Silent Hill's friend came to the house and informed the rapper that he was at the wrong place. So together, they took off. But LAPD officers chased Silent Hill a block from his home and booked him and charged him with two counts of assault with a deadly weapon. He was taken into custody he he and posted yeah, bail I mean, of $105,000. I'm surprised he survived In two months, Silent Hill was arrested If it was here, again, he definitely didn't. But definitely this time, it was for speeding in DeKalb County, Georgia. He was pulled over by a police officer at 3 a.m. for driving at 143 miles per hour. <sighs> Gee, I need to call that fast. Silent Toe insisted BMW that BMW truck going 143? He had to put the gas pedal all the way down for that. I know for a fact he had to. He's short, rewind. What you mean he's short? Hold up. Silent Toe a block from his home and booked him and charged him with two counts of assault with oh, a wait, deadly wait, weapon. We he was taken into custody and posted bail of $105,000. In two months, Silent he is tiny. You think I'm taller than Salento? How tall is Salento? How tall is he? Salento. Salento. Five foot six inches tall. He tiny. He a little boy. He a little boy to me. No wonder he went crazy. He got low man syndrome. Salento was arrested again, but this time it was for speeding, driving at 143 miles per hour. From his white BMW, Salento insisted that he didn't break any laws and stated that first oh, look at how you're looking up at the office because he didn't want to be chased by fans and second if there are like 10 cars following me i can do it stop going to 14 no one because i'm not a regular person and you could go and look on your computer Jeez. and it would tell you that bro but silent was arrested not that again guy, and held at decalb county maybe future or drinking something like that, several charges like that. and was later released on bond the charges included speeding reckless driving failure to maintain the lane and improper stopping It was January 21st when police officers responded to the call in the residential area in DeKalb County, Georgia. The witnesses said something about hearing gunshots. When the police arrived at the scene, they found Frederick Roots bleeding on the street from being shot in the face and the leg. In no time, he was pronounced dead at 3 a.m. Detectives who arrived at the scene gathered so security this is the, the homes in the neighborhood, which showed yeah, several yeah, cars that were quickly driving well, he, you gotta remember, the crime scene. In his music video, also, he was making this music video with little kids, like little shot. children. Near the body, like 10, detectives years found old. eight bullet casings. At that moment, it wasn't clear who was eight the bullet main suspect and what was the motive of the crime. But so he after, shot police eight bullets and only hit two. He got terrible. Probably committed the crime. It remained unclear how police found hey, person, out that I'm was all eight shots. On the police department's Twitter page appeared an announcement. On January 21st, the DeKalb County Police Department investigated Rook's death after he was found shot on Deep Shoal Circle. Hawk is in DeKalb County Jail charged with murder. After Silento was arrested, yeah. his publicist, Chanel Hudson, published the following statement on his Instagram page. Please send my client Silento some positive vibration. Over so the past no, several years, Ricky has been clothes. suffering immensely from a series like of mental man. health illnesses. We will continue in his efforts of treatment. Positive we ask in the meantime that the public uplift him and his family in immediate prayer and positive energy. 25%. Ricky is a beautiful <laughs> soul, and That's we hope terrible. that the That's same sad. people who came up whipping and naming with him way out continue to support him and be lifted well, in People prayer. who came up whipping and naming with him continue to support him. Please, uh, literal children who are probably around 16 years old now, just continue supporting this murderer who just, you know, had his booty hole posted, was trying to kill his wife or his girlfriend with a hatchet, literally going insane, has worms eating his brain murdered her man please continue to whip in in nene in support of him please that's that's crazy she bet you know panchitos i got beef with you after that who is she more like who is he that is a man that is a man in a wig god bless in the post description she expressed her hopes that this situation would pass as well as all previous ones chanel hudson asserted that she had a very close relationship with her client Bro, he looks up at everybody she said that she was well aware i bet of all the girls at the table were telling him just now. specifically his struggles with anxiety and depression oh no no it's too, late. it's too late it's too late yes yeah, it's college about getting no that's martin lewis those problems but, uh, chanel said that Mama? she believed that the case against her client was based on some shaky evidence and she stated that the justice system would decide silento's fate no matter what his charges are He's a human being. Don't put a filter on him trying to make him look more feminine. That's a man. Send him positive Let's vibrations. No, I'm I talking about Martin, the woman, Martin Lawrence play. Empathy. Hudson added big mama at the time, uh, baby former sitter. legal guardians and Ricky's attorney were assembling his criminal defense team, and the lawyer was constantly in touch with Silento in jail. <laughs> Yo, he looked like Trippy Red and a milk dud. Trippy Red and milk dud had a baby. That's exactly what it looks like. Moreover, Chanel Hudson explained that in the last couple of years, presumably from the appearance of the first legal problem, 
She was trying to humanize Silence. He looked like he got She said that in May hood. of 2019, she booked him on the daytime talk show The Doctors, where Silento got the chance to talk extensively about this having Asian woman issues. is towering above That wasn't above a situation him. where he just showed up and sat down for 30 minutes. He did a psychological evaluation ahead of time. It was a four or five day process. While being on the show, Silento explained that he was already born with marijuana, cocaine, and heroin in his system. Oh, he mentioned his struggles geez. with anxiety and depression. Why is his mom not in jail? It was jail? highly likely that he was prescribed ADHD medication by mistake. I don't know if these demons will ever go away. Chanel also pointed out the fact Somebody that- Somebody should have put him on a watch this years ago. Wasn't based on him being a failure. Quite the opposite, Silento was traveling around the globe, frequently performing, and making constant appearances on various children's television shows and programs. Keep this man away when the from the pandemic any kid, took over. Ever. Silento broke to pieces and allegedly attempted suicide at the beginning of 2020. Ooh. But unfortunately, nobody was really paying too much attention to what was happening no to God, him. He doesn't and after that suicide God. attempt, Silento showed some signs of destructive behavior and was arrested three times, each one getting more attention than the last. Yeah. Despite that, bond on the current case was denied. Chanel Hudson stated that she planned Who to Chanel continue Hudson supporting board? Ricky because Michael he Hudson. supported her as well when she needed that. That, that is a man. That is a grown adult testosterone-filled MMA fighting experience. pro wrestler. On February 1st, Silento was charged with malice murder and felony murder. In a few months, Silento was booked into an Illinois jail on one count of murder. At the court hearing on June 9th, the judge looked over his mental health history and stated that he was a danger to society. <laughs> Prosecutors on the cases stated that Bro, Ricky's grandparents oh wished their gosh. grandkid would stay Imagine in prison being legally to prevent him considered from being a, a danger to, to society and other people. And on August 3rd, he was indicted on charges of malice murder, felony murder, aggravated assault, and possession of a firearm while committing a felony. His trial is yet to begin, and he has not yet taken any guilty plea. But it's one shocking turn of events that the man who created one of the biggest children's songs of the last decade like it's kids now. like that big this old who grew up listening to that song and they're asking them a hey, continue to whip and nene in solitude let's whip and nene in solitude in solitary with Salento. kids this murderer he thinks he's an anime no cut up because if you tell somebody you are a danger to society you being free endangers everybody i'm gonna have an ego me personally i'm gonna have an ego if you tell me that i'm like oh bet. yeah y'all better lock me away i'm dangerous to everybody who walk near my path Pat, facing so. life in prison at the young age of 24. I keep on telling you I don't care about your boyfriend. I'm sipping lean, so that shit just like my girlfriend. I'm sipping red, I'm smoking weed, I'm feeling faded. I can't fuck with that little bitch cause she outdated. I keep on telling you I don't care about your boyfriend. 